Hey everyone, I'm back. Welcome back to my Dying Light gameplay video, video series. And I'm finally doing part 5, and I'm finally doing, I'm going to do a gameplay video on Dying Light the following. Er, uh, actually, no. I was going to do, do this video on the day that Dying Light the following was released. But sadly though, I was just were very excited. I was very hyped up to play the game. So don't be upset if you were expecting a gameplay of that. I'm sorry guys. I just was really hyped up to play this game. But anyway, um I think I might you know actually no, I'm gonna show you what the countryside looks like right now. Actually No, this is I'm not at the countryside, this is the slums. But, um, I will show you what the countryside looks like once I get to it. But for right now, I'm just going around the place, collecting a bunch of stuff. Like, alcohol, guys, trying to ra raise my legendary skill level. Because right now, oops, wrong one. Right now... I'm at level 5 and I'm using that to level up my health first. I'm level I'm leveling up my health first, then I'm going to level up the others. But right now, I'm at 212 health and next skill is going to be 215 health, which is going to be sweet. But yeah, you can see it's not easy to uh level up the legendary skills. Lit really, it's not. But I'm sure a lot of you guys are already know that. <laughs> Sorry, if you didn't understand. But I'm sure you guys already know that. But yeah, they, now they are. I also got the update, the uh, enhanced update, where they changed up some sound effects. If you could hear this. As you can see, the sound effect when you pick up stuff, it's changed. And they also put in some new parkour moves that you can do. Which is actually really awesome. And I do like that. And, of course, if you, if you heard that, the new sound effect for when you use the grappling hook. It actually sounds like it's grappled onto stuff. Though they kind of need to fix up the, uh... Um, they need to fix up on how the grappling hook attaches to like buildings and stuff. And they added a few other things, but they also added stuff that was not necessary. Like for example, zombies, even on normal difficulty, they are a lot, they are harder to kill. Like. Like, I'm on no ho normal difficulty. And, well... Trying to decapitate a zombie, it's not it's not easy. I mean, if you saw there, I was able to decapitate a zombie. I'll show you again. But, at times, it I aim for the head, and it doesn't cut off the head. Instead, it cuts off like an arm or something. That's really annoying. I mean, come on, Techland. And I, um, I actually hear people s saying stuff on why Teclan did that, just to make the game a bit more challenging. But come on, it's it was it's just not necessary, guys. Making the zombies more difficult to kill. It's just it was not necessary. I mean, you can only make the zombies difficult to kill on hard difficulty and nightmare and nightmare mode. And before you ask, no, I do not play nightmare mode. And I don't plan on to. I mean, because I'm not a hardcore, I'm not a hardcore Dying Light player. I mean, I do play Dying Light, but I'm not like a, uh, what's the word? Uh, yeah, I'm not a pro at it. I'm not a pro. So, yeah. 
Um. Come on. You know what? You know what? I'll just go to. I'll just get to Old Town. Cause I found out that the auto saving in this game is not that good. I mean, seriously, the auto auto saving is not that good in the game. Cause at times it auto saves, but it responds me back in like the Bozak Accord when uh. Well, yeah. When I clearly saved in the uh. Um, like the slums or old town, and for some reason the game thinks I. The game thinks I auto saved. I'm supposed to respawn in the Bullseye Cord. Tekla needs to fix that up. Now, it's not their fault. It's must. It's mostly a mistake on Tekla's part, but still, it's really irritating. But, eh, oh well, what you gonna do? And well, I'll just get to the, I'll just get to the, I'll just get to Old Town first, then I'll show you, um, the countryside in the following. And uh, I'm on co-op mode, by the way, if you guys were wondering. So, yeah. And they also introduced bounties. Now, am I gonna do the bounties? Probably. Also, they restarted the escort missions. Why? Teclan, why did you restart the escort missions? Though, so, uh... Eh, never. Oh, well. Anyway, I'm just gonna fast travel to Old Town. Hope I see it's auto saving right there on the bottom left bottom right hand corner. And of course I'm on posters because I have other quests that I can do, but I'm not gonna do them. Now there are also weapons in here. Which I will actually no new outfits that you get with this. And I'm gonna show you that once we get to the following. But first, let's see what do you have. Ooh. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't know if you can saw that, but what I'm wearing right now is the dirty clothes outfit. But anyway, I'm just gonna quit the main story and go to uh, the following story. And all I can say is, it, I was glad to finally get it. But anyway, let's start the following. As you can see, I already uh, defeated. No, no, I already beat, completed the story. Now, um. I will say this, say this right now, it was not easy. I mean, the countryside, I mean, it's huge. And just not easy to traverse around. I mean, yeah, you have the buggy, but... <clears throat> it's not really that, um, good. Unless if you, uh, um... Unless if you upgrade it. Because when you first get the buggy, it's not that easy to control. But the more upgrades you put in it, and, you know, the more skills you get, it actually becomes easier to control. Which is actually a really good thing. Now, I'm at level 6 in driving skills. <clears throat> so, yeah, but anyway, uh, I'll just show you the map. This is the whole countryside. And it is huge. I mean, seriously, it's bigger than Old Town, and it's bigger than the slums. I mean, it's it's just humongous. It's humongous, guys. But anyway, I'm just going to show you the new outfits. Right now. Of course, 
here's the Dirty Clothes outfit, which is of course what Crane wears in the title screen before the update. And I'm and this is actually my new favorite. I will I still like the ninja outfit more, but this is my new favorite. So, but yeah, the other outfits haven't changed one bit. I mean the Bozix pet used to be in this corner here, but now it's moved to the DLC outfits, which is a smart move. And we also we have the national outfits and the uh, following outfits: the stranger outfit, ally outfit, and acolyte outfit. I mean, these two not my favorite, but the acolyte outfit I actually like. So yeah. Now in terms of weapons, they uh. And as you can see, I finally found the Emperor's Glow. But yeah, they had the new SMG, a uh, new American German pistols that are more powerful than the ones I had, as well as, as, well as an upgraded crossbow, crossbow that I get, got. I mean, everything else. Oh, and also the uh, engine parts here. I mean, seriously, there's a lot I have. Because, well, oops. Where is it? There we go. And we go back down. Here it is. So yeah, I have a lot of level 1s, 2s, and level 3s. And I have fuel, because it's just, it's an important thing to get while you're in the following. But yeah, that's... Those are the cars. Also, they, they also added a new engraved pump shotgun and the rusted ranger. So yeah, that's the new stuff. Now, I'll show you my buggy. So yeah, here it is. Nothing too special. As you, as you can see, I can upgrade it. And fix them up. But as you can see, I have no more repairs on this. So yeah, that kind of sucks. I'm going to have to go back and get my uh, level 5 stuff for the driving. And swap them out. Now you can buy bucky parts from a uh, from a guy in the uh, yeah. Oh, never mind. So yeah, it's it's important to repair your cars, but like with the weapons, you cannot you can only repair them a certain amount. And as you can see, I filled up my tank. But yeah, there's nothing, there's nothing much about this. There's nothing too special. But I'm sure you guys are gonna enjoy it, and I have no, pro I have no problem with that. So for me, it's kind of difficult. Well, difficult to traverse the uh, countryside, like without the buggy, because it's like I said, the countryside is huge. It's really huge. But yeah, um It's again, it's fun, but just jeez. I mean, it would have been all good and all if Teclan put in a fast fast travel in Dying Light the following cuz consider considering a, of how big it is, Putting a fast travel in the game would have been a whole lot better. But, and no, the fast travel from the slums to Old Town, that does not count. I'm talking about fast traveling from safe house to safe house. So you don't have to, like, content continuously run over there. Especially if you're not fully leveled up. So, yeah. Again, this place is huge. It is 
Sorry about that. A, uh... A, uh... Video clip for the game was saved. And it stopped recording. So, yeah. Um, I won't say... The, the PlayStation recording only allows 15 minutes of, like, gameplay or something. So, I apologize for that. But anyway... Going back to what I was saying... The countryside is huge. I mean, which is accurate since... I've actually been to the countryside myself, in where I live, and uh, it's pretty big. And yes, if, if you can see here, there are volatile nests around the place. I tried to do that in the daytime, thought I was unstoppable, and I got killed, like, more than once. So, it's a now I understand why you need to do it at night. Because there are not too many volatiles in there. But of course, I wasn't thinking, and I got killed. Oops. Alright. There we go. As you see, here are the bounties. Now some of them will allow you to increase your stamina, power, and uh, survivor stuff. And others will increase your driving. But since I've al already upgraded my, uh, all these three, I'm not going to do that. Oh, if you, if you saw that, these are the, uh, the, this is the rank, the trust that you get for doing stuff for, in the following, as you can see, you start off as an outsider. In, in the description, it says, as an outsider, you're met with cold stares. Unless you show the locals that your intentions are pure, no one will talk to you. And you see here, you're a stranger now. As a stranger, you're barely tolerated. Show your worth by helping the children of the sun with their problems. Which is what... Which is what... Which is what they are in the game. But anyway, new... The elf... Actually, the reward for Stranger is the Stranger Outfit, which I already showed you. And for Newcomer, it says, As a Newcomer, you're treated with ten 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 I don't know how to pronounce that. Tentative? Or tentative? Or, I don't know how to pre present that. Pronounce that. But anyway, treated with tentative acceptance. Complete quests and other activities to raise your level of trust even more. And the uh, rewards for newcomer is the compound crossbow and the regular bolt. And here's ally, and and for ally it says, seen as an ally of the faceless, you're the person people really depend on. Complete quests and other, and of course it already says that, like it said with the newcomer. And the reward for ally is the ally outfit and the elemental bolts. Now there's believer. It says, as a believer, you're treated as a member of the Children of the Sun. And it says the same thing like with a newcomer and ally. And finally, Disciple. Oh, and for the reward for a believer is the upgraded crossbow. Now, finally, Disciple. As a Disciple, you're among the few who can talk with the Faceless directly. And the, and the reward is the Acolyte outfit. So, yeah. But anyway, the driving skills, I'm only at level 6, and this is why I unlocked so far. So yeah, it's not easy to unlock stuff here. But, yeah. <clears throat> Still. But anyway, guys, um... I wish there was... Oh, one last thing. This is here at every safe house, so if you misplace your buggy, you can use this to recall it. Which works. But anyway, guys, um, <clears throat> that's the uh, dying light. The following, as well as the uh, the uh, update th that I got. But anyway, uh, hope you enjoyed part five, and I'll see you all in part six, hopefully. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.